So today we are adding decimals over one whole. Our success criteria is to partition flexibly, know our place value columns, use our knowledge of complements, which we did the other day, adding to make one whole, and we can add. Our keywords are flexible partitioning, column method, complement, decimal point, place value, and here are the place value names, to add one whole, and the most important thing to remember when we are adding a one whole, we will be repartitioning. Here we are presented with a place value chart and we're going to add these numbers. In the first row we can see that the number is one ones, there are two tenths, two hundredths and six thousandths. So the number should be 1.236. Our second number is two ones, one tenth, one hundredth four thousandths, so our number is 2.114. Then when we add them together, we start from the right hand side and we add each column one at a time. Um, six to add four, we are doing six thousandths at four thousandths, which, are, which is ten thousandths, so we repartition into the next column. We repartition the thousands into the hundredths as a one hundredth. We have three hundredths at one hundredth at one hundredth is five hundredths. Two tenths at one tenth is three tenths. And one at two is three. So our final answer is 3.350 or just 3.35. If you need more practice, there is another question underneath. Try having a go at repartitioning accurately. And the next question we have is dealing with addition through flexible partitioning. We have 0 0.45 and 0 0.67. And here we are going to use complements to one whole to add. And then whatever is left over becomes our decimal number. So here we have 0 0.45. We partition the second decimal but the trick is we need to make sure that when we choose the partition both these numbers add together to make one whole you'll see why in a moment so i think i could think of it in this way if i think of it as 45 to get to 100 i need to think what number adds to 45 to get to 100 and of course that's 55 45 at 55 is 100, so 0 0.45 at 0 0.55 should be one whole. So using my number knowledge, my number bonds, I was able to find one whole. Then I think, what is the second number that might be partitioned to add to make 0 0.67? Well, I know that if I added two hundredths and one tenth, I would be able to get 0 0.67. So our last number is 0 0.12. But how does this help us? Well, since these two add together to make one whole, our last addition number is 1.12. Now you must be able to see that by finding complement to one whole helped us find the leftover decimal in order to find 1.12. You could also think about it in this way. I know that 45 at 67 is 112. So in that same way, you can say 0 0.45 at 0 0.67 should be 1.12. It's just another way of thinking about how to add without maybe a written method. This is more of a mental method. If you need more practice in complements to one whole, there is another question you can try and you can pause the video here. Let's go on to reasoning and problem solving. Uh, sorry, fluency. We have use the place value grid to solve 0 0.453 and 0 0.664. So we need to make sure we're repartitioning very accurately, starting from the right hand side. In this method, you have Sam is using complements to one to add decimals and here we have a two mark question one mark for your answer and one mark for your method using complements to one whole and number three says use column method to solve these additions 
it's very important that we line up our columns accurately with the decimal point. Next we have reasoning and problem solving. A place value grid is used to solve 0 0.7 at 0 0.5, but Jasmine thinks the answer is 0 0.12. What a mistake has she made? And make sure you're using a reasoning bubble to explain thoroughly um, what mistakes you might have made, what patterns you've noticed. In problem solving, it says you will need a partner and a dice for this game. Take it in turns rolling a die and place the digits in the blank space above. Record the number in a table. Swap over with your partner, roll again and add your new number to the first number. The winner is the person who, after four rolls, is the closest to 1.5 without going over. Make sure you are recording any evidence in your book and if you need to, use the reasoning bubble and these keywords to explain your uh, method. Hope this video helped and good luck.